There is hell, but it is not what you think. It is the experience of the worst possible outcome of your choices, decisions, and creations. It is unfulfillment. It is knowing who and what you are and failing to experience that. It is being less. That is hell. Yet if you knew who you are, that you are the most magnificent, the most remarkable, the most splendid being, but you do not know who you are, and you think you are a great deal less. Whenever you deny yourself, whenever you reject who and what you really are, you yourself create the experience. Create yourself as you truly are, and as you truly wish to be. And you could not be that unless you also had a choice to be something else. To be aware of consequences. Consequences are results, natural outcomes. Seek then to create change, not because the thing is wrong, but because it no longer makes an accurate statement of who you are. You are always in the process of creating. Every moment, every minute, every day, you are a big creation machine. And you are turning out a new manifestation literally as fast as you can think. You don't need to have a reason for anything. Just be the cause of your experience. Do what you want to do. Do what reflects you what represents you as a grander version of yourself. There is nothing you cannot be, there is nothing you cannot do, there is nothing you cannot have. There is only one reason to do anything, as a statement to the universe of who you are. There is also only one reason to undo anything, because it is no longer a statement of who you want to be. It does not reflect you, it does not represent you, that is, it does not re-present you. Experience produces concept of self. Conception produces creation. Creation produces experience. So much of your present experience is based on your previous thought. Thought leads to experience, which leads to thought, which leads to experience. This can produce constant joy when the sponsoring thought is joyous. Yet you would have all the freedom, all the joy, all the peace, and all the wisdom, understanding, and power of the spirit you are. You create collectively and individually the life and times you are experiencing. You set the guidelines, and you decide how well you have done, how well you are doing. For you are the one who has decided who and what you really are, and who you want to be. That is what is known as conscious living. You see, you cannot disembark from the journey. You embarked before you were born. Your birth is simply a sign that the journey has begun. You have already started off. You did so with the first beat of your heart. The question is, do I wish to walk this path consciously or unconsciously? With awareness or lack of awareness? As the cause of my experience or as the effect of it? 